Right. Um, as you can see from this cover slide here, this is going to be about acceleration. And let's just back up a couple steps before we get on with acceleration. Remember, we started earlier with displacement and then went to velocity. And now the next thing is acceleration. You should remember that displacement is the rate, excuse me, displacement is your change in position. For velocity, we added time to it, so we make it kind of a rate problem. So it's the rate of change of position. And now with acceleration, we're going to be changing our velocity. So this is the rate of change of your velocity. All right, so it goes displacement, velocity, and then acceleration. And there are three kinds of acceleration, which we'll talk about. Uh, you could be speeding up, slowing down, or changing your directions. All those are considered accelerated motions. All right, acceleration. Acceleration, as I said earlier, is uh, typically defined as, technically speaking, your rate of change of your velocity. So that means your velocity is changing. Velocity is a vector, so that means you're either your velocity is increasing, it's decreasing, or it's changing direction. Now, for example, here are some velocities. Positive 3 meters per second, then when a second later we go 6 meters per second, then a second later we're going 9 meters per second, then a second later we're going 12 meters per second, and what would our acceleration be? Well, we're going faster and faster, and each second we're increasing by 3 meters per second, so our acceleration quite simply is 3 meters per second squared. Now, it says second squared there. That means that for every second, our velocity is increasing 3 meters per second. So it's like 3 meters per second per second. All right, velocity is a vector. It has a magnitude and a direction, and here's an example. We could have 6 meters per second in the positive direction. The direction could be anything, up, down, left, right, east, west, positive, negative are the most common ones, but you could think of other directions that you would give. Okay, and the unit, as I said, is meters per second squared, which means it's every meter per second, every second our velocity is increasing some number of meters per second. Okay, remember velocity is meters per second, acceleration is meters per second squared. And if we want to calculate it, it's just the change in velocity divided by time, and the change in velocity is v, excuse me, v final minus v initial divided by time. Got to keep the finals and the initials straight. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, there are three ways to accelerate. You can speed up, you can slow down, and you can change your direction even though you're moving with a constant speed. In order to change your direction, something has to push or pull you. We, that's a force and velocity, excuse me, uh, forces cause acceleration. So changing direction because it requires a force is an accelerated and your velocity would be changing in that case. The, the direction of your velocity arrow, your velocity vector. Okay, so not to state too much, something that's too obvious, but if your velocity is changing, then you are accelerating. If your velocity is not changing, then you're not accelerating. Now this is the place where people get a little confused. I, I put this down here on the bottom here. What we're saying here is constant velocity. If your velocity is not changing, then you have constant velocity. Constant velocity means no acceleration. Constant velocity means your velocity is not changing and acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Okay? Alright, so let's talk about speeding up or slowing down. Um, there's a way to determine whether you're speeding up or slowing down, but you know, have to know something about the direction of the velocity vector and the direction of your acceleration vector. And if they're pointing in the same direction, then they are accelerating, or you are being accelerated. For example, if you're going in the positive direction, your velocity is positive, and you're being accelerated in that same direction that you're going, it should make a little bit of sense that you would be accelerating. In this case, you would be speeding up. Now, another example is just westward velocity, westward acceleration, the same thing. Velocity vector, acceleration vector, same direction, speeding up. All right, slowing down. And slowing down, it's kind of the opposite. Your velocity vector and your acceleration vector are pointing in opposite directions. So, one example could be we have a positive velocity, but we're being accelerated in the negative direction. So, we have positive velocity, negative acceleration, that's opposites. That means that we're going to be slowing down. And it could be the same thing. You throw a ball upwards. Well, we know it's slowing down. That means that our acceleration is downwards and it's being accelerated downwards by gravity in this case. All right? So I think, um, I think that covers it, speeding up and slowing down. All right. Uh, here are a couple examples. First example I'm going to do is just a simple word problem. It says Renata Gas is traveling down the street at 20 meters per second positive in the positive direction. She slows down to seven and it takes uh, that her three seconds to do that. We want to know what her acceleration is. 
So for example, it's final minus initial velocity. So what's your final velocity? It's plus seven meters per second. Minus her initial velocity, which is plus 20 meters per second. And we're gonna divide that by the time, which we said up here is three seconds. And that means that that uh, acceleration is minus 4.33 meters per second squared like that. Now you can see this is a negative acceleration. That means she's traveling in the positive direction. Her acceleration is negative. She must be slowing down. And you can see that indeed she is slowing down. So all the numbers and all the signs and everything should match. Okay, let's just talk a little bit about one more time about how to speed up and how to figure out whether it's speeding up or slowing down. All right, let's assume that this car, yes, that is a car, is being traveling in this direction. Its velocity vector is pointing to the right. So it's, it's traveling in that direction, but it's also being accelerated in that direction. We want to know, is that car speeding up or slowing down? Now, what do you think? They're both pointing in the same direction. So is it speeding up or slowing down? Well, in this case, it has to be speeding up, not slowing down. Velocity vector, acceleration vector, same direction. Speeding up. Okay, here we go. We're velocity, we're going in the same direction, but in this case, we're being accelerated in the opposite direction. So is that speeding up or slowing down? Okay, well, it is the opposite, so it should be the opposite. So in this case, the answer is slowing down, and it's not speeding up. All right? Okay, one more. Our velocity, let's assume we're going in the same direction again. Oops, that's not right. We assume we're going in the same direction again, our velocity, but our acceleration in this case is zero meters per second squared, and therefore we have a velocity and zero and zero acceleration. That means that our speed is, you guessed it, our velocity is constant. Okay? So those are kind of the three options. You can either be speeding up, slowing down, or moving at a constant velocity. Now let's just try one other one, or maybe two other ones. Let's just say our velocity is pointing in this direction. So this is our velocity vector to the left. And let's just say that in this case we are slowing down. And now the question is, which way is the acceleration vector pointing? So is it pointing this way or this way, or maybe it's up or down? Well, because it's slowing down, it has to be pointed in the opposite direction. Okay, so this would be our acceleration vector. All right, and there's a bunch of different examples, but all you should remember is that if it's opposite direction, it's slowing down. If it's in the same direction, then it's speeding up. No, uh, no acceleration is constant velocity. Okay? So I hope that takes care of it, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.